Show on the very action. Mm -hmm. All right. Call to order. Second item on the agenda is approval of minutes. Everybody get a chance to review the minutes from last meeting. And if so, do we have any corrections or amendments? And if not, looking for a motion to approve the minutes. Motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed. Minutes are approved as written. Thank you, Michael. Mm -hmm. Okay, third item on the agenda, bingo. I think the big thing there, if I may start, is um, do we have official approval to have bingo at the shrine before we start doing any type of work? We have That's, a reserve date. Um, I mean with the state, with the licensing. So I am going to let Christine give you a quick update. All right. He's been working on that. Jumping season. right in. Look at that. Jump right in. Uh, I've made some phone calls today, uh, spoke with the, the Bucks County Treasurer's Office, in which they informed me of an application for a bingo license. Ooh. Uh, there's many categories, uh, but the one that uh, we would be interested in is associations which conduct bingo during one period each year for not more than three consecutive days. And uh, we pay a uh, $15 annual license. Ooh, is that in the budget? I think we could have. <laughs> all right, all right. So I have the application. Okay. It's almost fully filled out, and uh, good. I, so, so there's no reason to think that we're not going to get it, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Outstanding. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. So with that said, you said uh, there's a date. Yeah. It's April. Uh, April twenty first, if I'm correct. Yeah. A, a Friday. Friday, yeah. Yeah. Okay, April, a day. Oh, yeah. And I will be putting Christine in touch with the shrine and our contacts to make sure their contacts haven't changed because that seemed to be a problem last year that we showed up for the event and they asked me, who are you? Yes. So um, <laughs> we're going to make sure we stay in touch with them and stay on top of that this year to make sure they're expecting us and, and uh, we provide them ahead of time with all the things they need 
Um, thank you for filling it out. Great, great. So I guess we just need to put some uh, some things in place uh, since we have the date and the time's going to be six is when we start. Six. I think we do always do the door opens at six and the event starts at seven. Okay. Um, and we try and I'm, I'm going to try and shorten some of the games a little bit and see what we can because I know the goal is usually to try and get done at 10. Okay. Sure. You mean fewer games or? Like maybe less lengthy games that like we have some games that oh take, yeah the, like a yeah. picture frame seems yeah. to take a while and i think maybe we can evaluate whether we maybe want to go to something that's more like a regular double bingo or something like that it might go a little a little bit quicker so to speak okay um as far as the games because but i do notice we have some that are over in seconds and then we have other ones that are they're trying to balance trying to trying to develop some games that balance that okay um, all right good good um so we just have to discuss different dates on when we're gonna go ahead and print the um the tickets mm -hmm. um we usually wait what uh probably about 60 days prior to i think um as far as where christine's at getting busy, like the next thing I asked her to, because we had this meeting tonight, I asked her to help me with the bingo stuff to get some answers on that because I know that would come up tonight. I think the next event that she's really going to get into with, is with Shell with the uh, Easter egg hunt. So I think we're going to look um, at, I can have tickets and stuff printed and ready to go and we can start at least advertising that way. And I'll work with Christine and balance. So you guys want to do like 90 days out, 60 days out? We're, we're almost 60 days out now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. God time flies. Mm -hmm. uh, so okay. So um are you taking on the responsibility of doing the tickets or, or I, I'm work, not sure I, I think as as we get through it, we're gonna work through all the events because I know this and Easter are gonna kinda Yeah when, clash up Easter? against each other a little bit. When's Easter? Easter. My favorite it's a little later. Easter is mid April this year. The Easter egg hunt. It's uh, April tenth, eighth, ninth, tenth. Yeah, or ninth. I'm sorry. Okay. Ninth. Sunday. Easter Sunday's the ninth. Um, early. Yeah, it is early. It is early. Um, so I think we're gonna try and between Shell, Christine, and I. I think we're gonna. You know, I think we're all gonna play some role in. Yeah these events this year as Christine starts to learn them and get her feet wet with them. And then when I have wet feet. <laughs> there you go. Now, the reason I'm asking how early we're going to do this is because I spoke with the uh, human resource director of Pine Run and, you know, they're right across the street from the shrine. And last time we spoke with them, it was too late. They couldn't get a bus organized to take the seniors up to the shrine. So if we can have, you know, more of a, I'd like to, I mean, they're, they're they're great guests. I mean, they're right across the street. Are you from you're from this area, right? Used to be. Used to be okay. Um, yeah, Pine Run Community is right there, and the shrine is right across the street. So, um, we can get a, a poster out or something, or yeah. get get you know use last year's and just put a new date on it or whatever. Yeah, just put we a new date do. on what we did last year. Yeah, like a flyer. Yeah, I mean, I I think we can work on getting some of that stuff out before the next meeting. I don't think that. Is necessarily a giant obstacle. No, I, I just think like everything else. I think some we should start a little early on everything mm -hmm. um, because I mean I would say to you we know the time the date. Yep. So you can start going over there and asking if they'll get a bus, and I can let you know when the tickets are ready. And you know. All right. Sounds good. I'll take care of plan run. Okay. And then the theme, uh, we're thinking of doing his and hers again, or or what are we thinking of doing? I mean, his and hers is a wash, rinse, repeat thing <laughs> for here. So, um, you know, I th I think that it really depends on what you're, what you want to go for. I I think my experience based on the demographics is, you know, I think the the hers prizes are are generally the more sought after ones. Um, I'm trying to think of the mix last year. I think we did nine and six. Mm, we had, yeah, 
We had a. Do we do hers and something a little bit more gender neutral, like uh, cooking things or something like that, that you know, everybody can use. That's a versus, good idea for a raffle basket. Yeah, versus a uh, you know golf bag or. Yeah, it's and that's like, kind of mean like the. Or very discounted or something, right? The golf, you get that. I would get that. I would get discounted with no taxes and, and that, like that. That's pretty gender neutral because some mm -hmm. people of both sexes play golf. Um, All right, so basically you duplicate last year, 70, 30. Yeah, and, and I think Christina can work. Maybe we'll come, like, Christina will have some ideas. I know she's done a lot of events for. Okay. She worked for Hatfield. So we, you know. You were for Hatfield? I worked for Hatfield for seven years. So I think by next meeting, Christine will have been here a little more and be a little more. No, this is only her Borough or township? Day. Pardon me? Borough or township? township. Oh, I so, thought you meant, I know you had told me this before, but when you said it, the first thing that came to mind when you said Hatfield was Hatfield meat products, not, <laughs> not Hatfield township or borough. Well, they are delicious. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh. So who did we lose for the bingo? We lost some of his help, right? Outside of we we lost um, Sue. Um, retired, right? Well, I I put it this way: I, like Gail brought up paying Sue, which I don't necessarily think is the right yeah. avenue. To Was she the one that got the purses? But she would yeah. last year. She went and she went and bought the purses, and we reimbursed. Um, I'll go get her the purses. You're fine. Hey, I I have a, <laughs> I have a strong feeling that if we asked. Uh, him and Shell to go on a buying spree for purses, they would be more than happy. I, or... I, I, again, I think as we get into this, I think my answer a lot of the time is going to be, I think Christine by that time will yes. have a very good grasp on everything. And I think uh, I'll be coming with messages from Christine versus my ideas at that yeah. point okay. for the events. So, okay. And then we need, uh, Food, no food, drinks, no drinks. Well, uh, Steve no water, tried to sell it? water last year and it didn't. Everyone brings their own stuff. Their own. So, all right. So, no food, no drinks. Um, yeah, I think everybody brings their bottle of wine or whatever, right? And their food. Yeah. yeah. Sausage rolls and, and, and then we're going to shoot for how many gift baskets or raffle baskets? I would say eight, the good number. Eight. Um, I'll pass that to Parks and Rec also because they they express a desire to um, do more with us. Good, which is good, which is good. They've been great actually. We got a good uh, got a good board this year. I've noticed that some of the people, the new people that were appointed, are at every event and helping out. So, yep, that's... like I said, we. Uh, this is really good. I like that. Cooking pet. I'll do a raffle basket. So I guess we can really tighten everything down what our next meeting? We'll have to. We're gonna have to, yeah. That'll be March. Yeah, and I think I can start getting stuff circulated. Like I said, I think I can if you talk to Pine Run, you know, if when you talk to them, if they're like, we need the tickets now to do this. Well, I think I just need a flyer to show the human resource director yeah. that we're actually going to have it with some dates and time. Yeah. I guess uh, she can run that by her marketing and transportation people. And uh, How long uh, can it take to get the tickets uh, printed? I mean, if I have to just duplicate the flyer and change the date, uh, it would be that. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably like to have some sort of list that they can sign up for so we know... You know, a week from the event, there's so many people from that institution going. And we'll reserve some tables up front for them since I gather they might be a little okay. more in need of being closer to the caller. You okay. calling this year, Mike? Hmm? Is that going to be Christine? Oh, no, that'll still be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping we can, can find a way for someone else to do that this year. Hmm. You know, you know what the usual theory is. You either you either volunteer the person who doesn't show up, or the mm -hmm. the new person gets the job. I'll take the rookie. I'll do it. Yeah. Call Bingo. But I call Bingo. I don't, that's fine with me. 
Yeah. Uh, the I rookie think. could do it. The <laughs> rookie could do it. I know. We like to volunteer the person that doesn't come to the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, thank you. It'd be great. Yeah, that'd, that'd be great. Be great. Um, it's usually fun. I mean, I don't actually, if I had to do it, I wouldn't mind doing it. It's, Me it's not, a, you know, it's not a terrible chore, ter terrible chore to do. So, I mean, from that standpoint, if it comes down to it, but I'm going to continue my theme that we continue to push to limit um, staff attendance. Well, I'll, I'll be there to yeah. sit at the door and collect money. So as much as we can, that's, and that's just. Then we'll just have Bob, right? Have set with the pickup truck. To put, for, yeah. Like we'll help with the pickup and everything. The setup, the setup will still take place right at, usually we go uh, around three. Four. Yeah. You know, while Bob's still on the clock and <laughs> utilize that help for a little while, but you know, the more we can push to have volunteers do stuff, I think that's the, always the goal. We want to bring more people involved into these events. When's the next Park and Rec meeting? Uh, it's next, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Which is the... 21st. 21st. Yep. Okay. All right. Any other ideas or suggestions? You could be in Florida. No, this is the one event I'm, I'm going to be at. All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was worth the water issue last yeah. year. I mean, like six there? bottles or something. Yeah. Well, you know, for three, four years in a row, we did hot dogs and we did uh, sodas and we did pizzas. We did sausage with sauerkraut. But I think your favorite that, story from that event. Getting to feed the, the Padre. I'm on camera. No, <laughs> it, was, it was it was it was Good Friday. It was it was bad. Oh, it bad. bad. I mean, is that much extra providing food uh, stuff like that? I I always think that when people bring their own food, sometimes it's well, like what happened was it's like people you know this table's got one, this table's got this. If you maybe generally provide, if we provide something like some some people could go and grab some stuff, you know what I mean? What happens is like they all bring their own little uh, dessert trays or and a pasta or whatever, and then we got stuck with a lot of food. Um, they 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 come with friends and they bring. They, you know, someone brings the appetizer, someone brings the meal, someone brings the dessert, someone brings the booze, someone brings the water. So it's, uh, yeah, it, it, it didn't. It's, it's not really a self, it's like the fall festival is a self food event. I don't yeah. think this one really is. You know what I mean? Like, I think there are people that show up and go, oh, cool. I didn't bring any food and then you have something. That's, mm -hmm. I think that's the sales we kind of get. Can order, uh, can order. I think the, 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 more of this event is that you can bring bring your own. Can that be put on the flyer like BYO? If I recall, I think it does say. I that. think it does say that. Yeah. If I recall, but I'm not. I without looking at it, I couldn't. It just requires an extra person to get the stuff and then sit there and sell it. And like I said last year, Steve basically sat there and sold six bottles of water. Yeah. Yeah. Not not a big. Uh, all right. So yeah. before this, I'll, before we get the tickets and the flyers, if you guys want to pass the word out, and then um, we'll coordinate with you on to our findings, how many baskets we have, and um, how many people we solicited. And um, yeah, and I'm going to keep Christine copied on the emails we have and everything. So yeah, who she usually does who usually brings a basket. Was that Sue Gelb or is that the other Sue? Um. Kathy Sexton. Kathy, uh, I'm sorry. Kathy, Kathy Sexton. Sexton does it, and Kathy, Kathy Scanlon has, but I have, last time I reached out to her, I didn't hear back from her, so. Yeah, no, no. I'm not really sure as far as baskets go. Okay. Um, But she, Kathy Scanlon was usually good for at least two, and Kathy Sexton usually does a couple. Um, you know, if it comes down to it, we probably find a way to fund them a basket or two if we have to like like for instance like i know sometimes like the happy mixer will give us a gift card so we'll take some of our budget funds and put together a baking kit with 
with the gift card. We've done that in the past to kind of create a basket, you know. Um, so I think, I, you know, that, that stuff always ends up coming together at least last minute. And especially if you rope in park and rec, I think more. We'll, what we can get to eight. And we, uh, we usually do sponsors too. seek sponsors. We do sponsors. We have, uh, we have a gold sponsor, which usually is Gilmore, right? It, typically, I've alternated between the two, or for either the solicitor or the engineer, making that request. Um, They're both doing well. Well, yeah. yeah um, I, and I've learned from the last year, I don't have a problem asking. And No, it's just what the, the thing is, is we have our fall festival. So we try not to double tap the sponsors, you know, like um, like Pabby's uh, Pet Resort. They've been very generous. They sponsored the food court at the Fall Festival. I really don't want to ask them to do the bingo. So, I mean, if you guys know of any, anybody wants a sponsor, I think we had, what, uh, gold, silver, bronze? Yeah, I think... We'll get the flyer done, and I think that's one of the first things Christina will look at. That's, that's form so and what we're offering with those. So it's a flyer with the application to sponsor, yeah. right? So we need the flyer, and then there's a flyer with a, that the uh, sponsors can fill out uh, which level of sponsorship they want. Mm -hmm. And I guess we can all take one, and you know we can just walk around this giant, you want to sponsor? Okay, just fill in their names and turn it I in. I think that's the way I would look. This community, like we can send letters, but we, as we talked about last year, that that can be so impersonal. It, in and, person works, yeah. So, person works. so like, I agree. what we would really need is that that would be this community's goal yeah. to go out and look for those things within the community. Yeah, and no offense to, to anything, but you know, people get emails and they tend to forget. And, and Everybody's like I, said, I, I, I wholly think that we'll look at how it's done, but I think getting money from our solicitor and engineer is not. An issue to, the, to give us that baseline start for the event that yeah. should cover some of those, cover the bags and things like that. No, I know I can get it. I, I could get a few sponsors, but there's different levels. So again, the sooner we have that sponsor application, you know, the sooner we can get to work and start soliciting uh, their sponsorship. And we have the the team that does the raffles. That was. Um, volunteers through Sue Gell. She knows them from running her bingos. I can ask. I can't see why she wouldn't offer to have them come back. My kids aren't going to be doing anything, so they'll sell raffle tickets and do it if you want. Yeah. Okay. So I, mean, I, I think we can come up with it, but like I know they do, all they do is volunteer to do bingo events. The, the women that <laughs> usually come every year. We pay them pizza. Yes, we provide a meal and they go. And I, like I said, Christine probably has some contacts that I haven't even thought of that we'll go through. What about a gift basket with like twenty five dollar gift cards from various New Britain businesses? Yeah, I don't know if some of them even have gift cards, but I'm sure they could have arranged. I'm sure they do. Like Spatolas and Pepinos and yeah, I think they, Skyline Tavern and uh, I'm gonna do my best to help out because I don't know if I'll Chupasa be here in the uh, you know, um, in April. So um, guac, the guac guac place mm -hmm. where uh, way back where yeah yes I heard that's very good. <laughs> Actually, someone was just telling me they have a great. Two tacos for five or six bucks. I think it's tonight. And that's that? so good. They also have a right the way back. Well, way back burgers in that same little. Uh, oh opposite. no, no, this is Skyline. Oh, you're talking about? Uh, oh, really? Two, uh, two casa. Mm -mm. Skyline Tavern. They that barbecue have, place right there. Steak night. They have barbecue place. Night. Yeah, that, the barbecue place is Tino's Seasonal Gorgies. Yeah, that that barbecue place right in the same shop with two casa. Embers. Embers is fantastic. Yeah, they used to, he used to own Borgies, Dino. Ah, yeah. that's the one. They shut down over there now. All right, good. Sounds like a good plan. Um, <coughs> anything else on bingo? No, I think, you know, we answered the major question, which is the licenses. And I think that was the first major obstacle to it. And Christine was able to 
solved that in her second day here. So, Mike, what's up with that? I didn't have to get one before. Last year, when I tried to get one, all right, we'll close out. Bingo, uh, 2023 Fall Festival slash 300 year anniversary. Um, so I wish Dale were here, but Dale is actually coming back from the mountains. Okay. Uh, he says if he can make it, which probably he won't. Well, he's but... he's been very busy with the three hundred committee. Yes. 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 He uh, he the... asked me to relay a few things, so I'll wait to the end to do that. Okay. Uh, that he's been working on. But uh, I think the big thing is we need to separate what. The Veterans Committee is doing versus the tricentennial. Right. Um, just to make sure we don't overdo everything. Um, so I guess the, the first thing we should do is go down the list, right? Start at the beginning. So everything that's on this list. She, she's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Blame the redhead. Yeah. I think those activities will all still continue to fall with this committee. I don't, you know, yeah. our traditional moon bounce, all that, like, I don't think that switches hands. I think what will be the tricentennials responsibility will be those additional things they want. You have to admit, I think it will take, for instance, one of the events they talked about was having a tent with historical objects throughout time to kind of create this timeline is that when you're at the fall festival you could walk through the tent and kind of get a general sense of the timeline and the history of New Britain Township. I know it will also involve so far the discussion has been about having uh, a silversmith, um, an iron worker, you know, some of these from the 1700s encampment. Uh, reenactors. Yeah. Reenactors, yeah. So Dale said that he secured the, the uh, encampment. The only issue was are we going to let them spend the night at the park and as i said to dale at tricentennial community because it's about them wanting to stay with their stuff i don't see foresee that being an issue we just have to notify the police and I, it's for it's not someone living in our park they're there for one night <laughs> they're helping us with them they're there to run the event i don't foresee that to be an do issue. do you think we should um like we do in zoning do you think we should perhaps um send a couple layers to the immediate neighbors saying like if you see you know lights in the park and stuff it's our tricentennial committee i'll leave that up to staff to figure out what to do i don't think um i mean i just i kind of view that as one of those things like we make sure we notify the police department they notify dispatch and if a call comes in and it's Make, they're aware of dispatch can answer because dispatch it. can kind of answer it because it's it's one night i don't necessarily want to draw a lot like a lot of attention to it like mm. it's a big deal it's okay besides if people will be driving by could be calling too so just notifying the neighbors isn't gonna yeah, yeah. you know that's up to and, you and i anticipate that they're going to be somewhere over in this parking like i don't think they're going to be over by houses and things like that i mean i depending on where we set them up i think they want to park their cars and be near, um, you know, like the like an iron smith or silver smith. They're going to need their things to cool down, but I don't think they want to be far away from it. I think the concern they also they have is some of their stuff is extremely expensive. Yeah, of the yeah. Period. It's from. absolutely. So they just don't want to leave it sit out. Um, All right, good. Um, let's get back to this letters. Um, so we have our standard letters right mm -hmm. um and, and same thing with uh sponsorship and flyers it's the same same format flyer and then a flyer with the name of the sponsor and how much you're donating or how much you're sponsoring for um and, and we switched the fall festival last year from we used to do a similar style to bingo but we don't do that we did not do that last year we said give this money, you're sponsoring this particular thing. Um, so as we kind of discussed the thing, I think at this committee, if we're starting this early, we can think about if we want other 
thing to the event I discussed last year that we talked with the Coleman Hay Farm, the Coleman's, and they'd be interested in having a horse and buggy ride here and things like that. So we can find out the cost of those things, advertise them on the flyer for what their cost is as a sponsor. Um, but that's traditionally how we're, we're, we've started to transition with this event is figure out the cost of the thing and then ask, add, then to, ask for that money and say you're sponsoring right. that thing for that amount of money. It makes more sense and then people know what the what what the budget is and what they want to spend. And... You know, because there's only so much variance we can do with we'll put you in the newsletter or we'll put like, yeah. like we're really scraping by at that point with how to differentiate the levels. The uh, only thing that might come up that might be a little different with the 300 committee is the touch a truck and the fire companies. Um, and you can talk to Dale. He's got he's got major plans for having some sort of battle with the fire companies and but involves getting new telephone poles and installed and he's he's very ambitious, let's put it that way. Yeah. Uh, but the fire the fire companies are interested because they can come here and use it to practice. But I don't, I'm just interested in seeing where certain of the major things we're putting out are going to go. The encampment, yeah. the fireworks, and then we have to work around that. And, and, and I think the big thing is start time uh, because, you know, you're talking about doing fireworks. I don't know what the position is. You know, at the end of the day, if you guys are going to accept fireworks or not, even if it's regulated and all that stuff. So we have to. Think make a decision the sooner that's to be at eight o'clock. But I, I mean, so that's basically what it's come down to. If we were going to do the fall festival and the fireworks, and we we so the the discussion that's still taking place is Bob Showalter said we could have the event, and then have the pause, and then have the fire. Like so, everybody comes to the events. We use the event to advertise the fireworks at night. Let the park clear out, then get set up. It was one of one method that was message to me if we're going to run them as all one event we are probably looking at starting this event in the afternoon versus the morning you know like we're talking obviously it's it's going to have to be longer than four hours if that's what we're doing that's a given um, well that that runs into trouble because a lot of these vendors it's yeah i mean and that's going to be the question about where this stuff goes as far as that, because like I also have safety questions. If we have vendors and then clear out the park while people are still here, there's cars driving around, there's people walking around. But let, let's make it simple. If 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 the fireworks company, and I'm not on the, that committee, but if the fireworks company gives the proposal radius, height, boom, 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 insurance certificate, is the township okay with letting them have fireworks budget wise and everything so, i think that's the question we have to ask sorry, ourselves I'm well trying to answer this as it's a it's not a simple yes no if it's there are other things that have to be paid for like i just keep trying to stress it. it's all got to come together in one thing so you can't just say yes to one thing in an isolated area no, I'm saying, is the township open? Yeah. Oh, that might, my answer is yes. I believe there's a willingness to uh, say yes to that. We've given John Malak and Bob Showalter, I've provided them with our site plan from last year, obviously notifying them that with more things, it's going to obviously change their working on a site plan for the fireworks yeah. where it would need to go. Um, there's a lot of logistics that still have to be worked out for that, but it also has to tie into the other things they're supposed to. That's be a doing. big. That's a big thing. I mean, a lot of it's going to fall in the time. You know, yeah, it's... and I'm 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 wondering if maybe the fireworks would be better, but that's another discussion for the three hundred for the three hundred uh, a a different night or day, maybe on July fourth, maybe on Memorial Day. You know, but I I Dale would like to have the fireworks no, no the and i think we all would it's just I, a question I mean, of like it, i think a lot of this is contingent upon what time we start yeah and i think that's a i don't want to keep banging this i don't death, think but, we can well, extend the event 
pause it and then have people yeah. come back. I don't really because think people that's won't come back. Won't come back. <laughs> Plus, you got that's, staff and all that's that. That's not I mean, going to work. Plus, you got township staff coming in and out. Well, and that's kind of what I'm saying. It's just their ideas that have been bounced out. I think so. there's some logistic stuff that has to be talked through. Um, but I don't think we could. I don't think we could ask staff to be here from yeah. ten in the morning till ten at night. I think that's mm -hmm. that, that, know, that. That is work. a that. That is, if if that's the goal, then you get staff for one of the two things, and everything else has to be manned with volunteers. Um, I, I I that's not workable either. We start the fall festival later. To you know, not ten in the morning, but yeah. whatever. One or two in the afternoon. Not even that early, because if these if we're paying for four hours of petting zoo or four hours of foam, then we'd be extending it to six or eight hours. And I don't think we're going to, they may not even do that. So we'd have to have something later in the afternoon and whether or not that's going to be workable. Um, I mean, I like the idea for, I'd like to reestablish fireworks being put on by the township for the residents. It may just not be a good idea to have it try and uh, hang mean, it on to the fall festival. I would say this logistically. Planning it as its own thing would probably be easier than trying to tie it into a, an step. What what I feel like we've kind of established at this point is a very good solid event. You know, I I if if I could check, absolutely. Um, we're planning the event, but from what was proposed last meeting to now, it, it seems like we've gone backwards. Because it was like, all right, well, let's start the event at two. We want it to be longer from two to eight. And then we got fireworks. Now it's like, are we doing the fireworks? What time are we doing? You know, it's, it seems like we're backtracking a little bit. Not on our side of it, but their it's, side of well, it. Well, that's, that's just my opinion. I think it's going to be, the more I see in the encampment and everything, I don't know that there's going to be room for everything. Because we need right. to, a large space to lock off for the fireworks. And and this is where I continue to stress to the tri me this really needs to be planned out well and thought out well. Um, and we know. haven't gotten there yet because we need the fireworks guy to tell us where he can be safely and how much space that's going to be and then decide whether everything else is going to fit. Why can't we meet? Why can't we meet with the trust tenure committee as well and have it all together? <laughs> you know, I mean, I think you can. You know, I mean, I, 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 I know Jell is on it, right, Marco? Are you on? Are you no. I mean, I, it, it makes it makes no. Are you on? I mean, it makes no sense to you know make decisions if if those decisions from the trust are going to come, come you know combat us you know whatever you know they're not going to go together. If we do it all together, at least we can have ideas, and then oh, we we agree all together on what happens. Well, I think I think Marco has it. We can get too confused. The veterans committee is putting on the fall fest, and right. you're going to do your events. And these other events are going to be put on by the 300 committee and they'll take care of that. So really until we get the fireworks guy telling us what he needs and how much space he's going to need, we may not have the room with the parking, with sure. the encampment. If we've got pony rides, if we've got, I mean, like I, I really like the idea of what we did last year. I think pushing more of those, Type of things for families is what this event um, yeah. will make it continue to grow, and I actually think would allow us to start, you well, know, in the future, expanding the slowly expanding out that time frame well, that people would be here. Yeah. But I think I think we owe it to everybody um, to make a decision sooner than later. That yes, if everything fits the criteria. We will have fireworks, or no? Let's push into yeah. a separate event. Uh, I think we owe that to the people and I trying to get all this together. We'll have a better idea of that. Bob and John Malak are working on. I've given them our layout, basically saying we take up the football field, we take up both, essentially now taking up both levels of the softball field. So I mean, I could see both sides. I could see where it'd be like a lot of stuff going on one day. Yeah. A lot of stuff and then at the end you're adding fireworks on top of that you know because let's face it you're gonna you're gonna need volunteer firefighters 
for parking. I, I don't care what you say. You're going to have township staff here. Well, we know. I, that. I, I, I it's, am it's you know, it's like we, we need. Yeah, of course, we need township I'm, staff here. I'm fully aware of that. So, like, I, I've, I've stressed that we've talked about that they need to plan like they don't have it. Now, if we get down to it and have to supplement, that's a different conversation. But they should; everything should be planned. Like township staff doesn't exist, right? But what I, what I'm saying is, Marco, what Marco said at the beginning of the meeting is correct. We this committee needs to plan its event as if the other doesn't exist. That's an add-on, and that's up to that committee. And we can always slide the time. But you're welcome to show up. Uh, when's our next meeting? The next one but, is oh, off the top of my but, head. Uh, that's the tricentennial is the eighth of March. Oh yeah, that's eight, eight February to March. I can't be on another committee. I'll get divorced. <laughs> 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 and, and, and you have to be on the committee here. You no. know, all public meetings. You can come and. No, we're good. I think we made our point. Yeah. I yeah. think we made our point of what we need to focus on, and I think sooner than later would be beneficial to everybody. Well, we hope to. We need to get it going sooner rather than later. And the one thing we need to figure out is the fireworks. So the sooner uh, I agree, Bob and John and Dale can get back to us as to the space requirements. I, I mean, I think there's room based off the what he the little information I've been given, which is for every inch diameter of shell, you need seventy five feet. So if we only do all one inch diameter shells, you need seventy five feet. All right. Have you talked to Randy? No. He might have other ideas, so. But that, that's something you guys need to bring up at your other committee. Right, we will. We and, will. And, uh, you know, I think we made the point that time is critical. So, you know, we don't need to be involved in the details. Um, if we have it earlier, we have it earlier. If we have it later, we have it later. It does, it's not going to change our our uh, schedule. Um, owner, what, what does that necessarily mean, owner, owner? Like which one who's on the on the form on your list there what does it mean who's responsible for that or yes right. who okay. assigned it to okay. who's the okay. owner of this responsibility all right so um sponsorship round one round two those are letters there's letters so i'm assuming it's a township sending out the letters yeah i and i i could repopulate this the way we did last year but i assumed based on the way the community was talking about I just wanted to have a blank list with these are the things that we have to do. And okay, so sponsorship will put NBT, right? Sponsorship letters, NBT, NBT, and, yeah. and verbal too. I mean, we can vendor NBT and NBT. Car show, you could put my name under there. I contacted a few car show people uh, that did the Lansdale. Oh, yeah, but I'm I'm waiting to hear back from them. Um, but I'm gonna spear that event, try to get that going. Touch a truck. Is that public works? That would be NBT staff. We th those so all you're under letters, correct? Yep. Those are the people that send out letters you, that we have. Okay. So most of that stuff is MBT staff, but I like your idea of, you know, as far as not necessarily letters, but going out to look for those yep, yep. things would, you know, be beneficial. But we had pretty good sponsorship last year. Oh, for this event? Yeah, yeah I yeah. paid the most yeah. sponsorship money we've ever had. Yeah. Since Base painting, who did that? Did you do that, Mary Beth? No, we, ha no. we hire. Oh, it was Beth. Uh, no, <laughs> Me? Beth uh, uh, Regina. Was it Regina? Or did we hire? We hired. We have. We hired someone. Yeah. Right. And do we know who that person is? Are they going to do it again, or who's mm -hmm. going to contact that person? Your MBT staff. Mm -hmm. MBT. So those have been MBT staff. Moon bounce. MBT staff. Obstacle course. MBT car show. Put me down again. Um, pumpkin decorating. That Last was year. That tail. was. Dale got pumpkin from Mary Beth got supplies. Okay. Do we duplicate that? We no. might. Um, Dale might be 
scale and I might be a little, I mean, I can shop for the supplies. That's not a problem. I don't have a truck to bring in. Pumpkins, they'll they'll so. do the pumpkins again. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he bought, wishes he bought more pumpkins last year because his, his tent was surrounded all day. He needs a helper if he's going to be a yeah. food court. I'll ask Pabby's again if they want to sponsor the food uh, food court. You know, let's go real fast. I had made a comment about digital digital boards, thanking our sponsors. Um, I think I was supposed to do that mm -hmm. to see how much a billboard, a digital billboard on wheels costs, so we get continuous thank you to our sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yep. You. Were, I, I think you were going to look into it. About. I, yes. I can't remember when we talked about it. Right. Whether it was last meeting or it was last year. So I'm gonna see how much they cost. You know the ones you can pull behind a truck, mm -hmm. and you oh, can you put, mentioned the last meeting. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. yeah. Um. Because I think it would be nice for the sponsors to see their name like continuously in front of the crowd, and that's something we can solicit the sponsorship by saying like, hey. We're putting you right in front uh, continuously, just not a little plaque somewhere or your own banner. Or Yeah, because that, that was the route we went last year was the, so you give us a banner and we'll hang it on the fence because we kind of got rid of Bill, Bill Bay and Anthony have always just the little flags that we have. They, some can get recycled from July 4th, but they always end up having to hand paint them before the event with gotcha. pencils and stuff. So it was made more sense to switch to making it the sponsor's responsibility to provide us with something. We'd make sure it got hung. Right. But Petting Zoo was um, Park and Rec. Park and Rec. So you could just put your name down again. And phone, Foam Zone. That was a hit. Uh, who did that? Um, Shell actually booked it um, for us last year, but we advertised it through our flyers as uh, a sponsorship of it. But who sponsored it? The Foam Zone? The Foam Zone, I believe we got that split between our engineer and solicitor. I believe that's how I got that sponsored when we added it. I called them up and said, would you like to split this cost of this item? And they how, much, agreed. how much is the Foam Zone? I think it was like 1400 bucks. That, that's a must. Well worth it. Oh, that was That was a hit. All right, then uh, advertising website, township social media, Facebook. If I may make a guys. suggestion, oh, sure. Flyers to local businesses. I think flyers should be sent out to the local schools too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that kids or parents, that's how they get it. I think they still do the Friday folder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Wednesday. Also, Wednesday folders. Wednesday folders. Like Wednesday folders. Yeah. We have any uh, also something. Michelle, they do stuff with the with the, the local daycares and things. Yep. Like that. So I think that could be a place. You guys have younger kids, right? Yeah, I have a, a nine year old. Yep. And are you guys involved in any parents' activity? Like, where did they go? Butler or, or? I got I got a I got a sixteen year old that goes to CB West. Okay. And I got a nine year old Pine Run. Pine Run. Okay. Uh, you got smart kids too, right? I got Butler, Unami, and CB South. Are you guys involved in any like um, um, events at school? Like we used to have, like uh, I don't remember. Uh, I've been waiting since September for my clearances to go through. Wow, your clearances for school? Yeah, you can't so do can anything volunteer. unless you get child abuse September background. Yeah. I think maybe, and I have a federal badge, and I'm still waiting since September. <laughs> I think they got lost. Have you followed up? Oh, I followed up. There's only one person in the entire school district that does them, and uh, there's some backtracking with the FBI background checks or something. Nice. I don't want to date myself, but we used to put those on the uh, billboards at Butler and uh, Unami. Well, that's what the that's what the Wednesday folder is. It's all electronic. Yeah, yeah we can get it on the uh, on their emails, their monthly email list. All right, Butler cool. Bear News, and that that won't be a problem. All right, so good. So that's all done. Website. Uh, so going back to booking. Um, so booking will be NBT, obstacle course NBT, popcorn machine. Do we have yeah, popcorn I machine? Yeah, like the booking stuff. 
Popcorn's the police. They do that. They do that, but, but I typically just get everything registered for them to use. Um, we put it on here on the on this list too. Everything's what the township does and what the veterans community. Yeah, that that one yeah. was I left stuff on. I just printed out all the lists that we did last year. Yeah. Um, trying to find ways to talk about this. The the larger papers was how we talked. The first way we talked about it was on those eight and a half by eleven. So that was the first way we talked about it. And right. As we started assigning people tasks. We started, I started making it in the big one, the bigger one to show who was doing what and to kind of give uh, a due date of when something was due and to show stats if it was completed or was still outstanding yeah. so that we could keep track of those. This was kind of the, this was kind of for tracking where we were going on with that. Meeting. And if you can find, I, I'm, I'm guessing you're going to be in charge of this form, right? Sure. I mean, are you? The event coordinator. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you can find a more efficient way of doing it, please do. Okay. okay. Give me a seat. It's a little back and forth, but just maybe the way my brain works. I don't know. Not to say that it's right by no means, <laughs> but uh, um, but if you can find a way that's more efficient for you and and for us, uh, that'd be good. Um, so what's the pri uh, prizes? Are those the raffles? Yeah. Okay. Because last year we went away from San. I think. Because some people brought in stuff that wasn't like a basket, so we started calling them prizes oh, instead okay. of. Yeah, we had some food thing there that we had to keep try move every ten minutes to keep it out of the sun. That was kind of a. I I just don't. I think that's why that came up when we changed it to the word prize instead of raffle basket. Okay. All right, School of Rock. I'll reach out to the director. Let's see if we can. Uh... And again, these things are going to be important on the time again that we start because. Um, yeah, that one I want to work on. The timing of of things for the event, because I know Babylon had a specific time frame, but I also want to give enough time for the School of Rock to go on. So I want to try and get Action Karate to go on at eleven thirty, Babylon for like twelve to twelve. 12 30 12 45 and then school rock for the rest of the time if i can swing it that way um but i was trying to give school rock at least like an hour and 15 minutes of time why don't you do this why don't you uh call babylon since they've been they've been loyal to us since we started this well that's right i, I give they, them first first right they, they want first time. that 12 o'clock okay so 12 o'clock assuming so yeah assuming yeah but We'll keep it for that. We'll we'll keep it that way for now. They may, well, see that's another thing. Some of these might not be available later in the afternoon. True. I'll I'll be the wet blanket for. I mean, for some of these two, I think the, it would the, the help everyone. The last year, some of their issue was some of the girls on the dance team had work and things like that that they had to be at by one thirty, hmm. uh, two o'clock. So they needed they wanted the that twelve o'clock time frame. Um, I think some of this stuff, if we clean it up um, as we go through, I can see, reach out to each of those early on now with a year in advance. Maybe those times will work when they know, if they know that far ahead of time. It won't feel like such a time crunch because she can tell the girls, like, listen, we're <laughs> playing on this weekend. We're dancing from this time to this time. Yeah, so performance is going to be time critical. And car shows can be time critical mm -hmm. because I can't set up a car show mm -hmm. without knowing a time that we're going to start. So that's why. Um, Plus, some of your older cars, I know they don't have like lights or whatever, so they won't come out at night. Yeah. Yeah. I used to be involved with Heart of Bucks when uh, the Boylestown JC used to run it. Oh, yeah. And that was. We had looked to change to an evening event, and hey, who's that? granted that was thirty years ago, but still. <laughs> yeah, I was still in high school, but uh... Uh, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's on. Like I said, that's um, we won't revisit that anymore. Right. Um, and then touch a truck. That's going to be pretty much township. Who called the crane last year? And that was. I got, they actually, I reach out to them every year and that was the first time in a while they answered. I thought that was 
That was good. I, I actually want that thing. I think it's like a beacon saying something's going on here. Mm -hmm. Having that thing parked out in the field with the crane all the way up. Maybe we can do crane rides this year. Yeah. Oh. Safety straps, kind of kids going up oh, and down. Fire, down. fire, yeah. Colmore Fire Company Bungee jump off. was doing that one one fire safety afternoon. I went up in the the basket. It was fun. All right, so um, and I'll ask the Parks and Recs about the prizes again, and uh, I mean, so basically, all this is open to everybody. You know, if you guys want to jump in and you see the opportunity to get, um, you know, a so, basket from somebody or. So what I'm hearing essentially is we want to make our flyers and things now and get them out in the committee's hands so we can start promoting all of these things. Yeah. yeah. Now. Within yep. The community. yep. Yeah. So really, maybe we need to come up with a flyer that doesn't. Because we're still early until we get the sign thing worked out. So yeah. it just advertises the date and, and the, the location. Date. Try and get push that information out there so people are aware of the date and where it's at. And then as we get more clarity on that, we can have a more updated detailed yeah. flyer. I mean, we don't have to do it per se like this month or next month, but we usually start after the Fourth of July parade, and I think that's too that's too too short of a time between the 4th of July parade and the September, you know, that's like 60 days. Up. They get booked up. And, and I, I agree with that. Yeah. That's, yep. Again, I'm going to keep going back to Christine being here. It's going to be a breath of fresh air that someone's going to be looking at all these events throughout the year as versus where Shell and I were stuck jumping between arts event. Now I got to go back to my, what I'm doing every day for the township. And then I got to get back on another event. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, I was the second in command for the Hatfield Townships for Oktoberfest that they have every year, uh, which involved the car show and everything else. So, um, you know, I do have some experience in it. So anything that I can, you know, assist with. Yeah, I mean, if you person. if you got an in with a car show, um, I can look it, at my old records and it's a it's a different breed. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely, <laughs> it's, it's hard to get in the door for some reason. I've always found that the hardest thing for this event to to really predict whether we've had years where we've had 30 cars out there and then we had last year where we had three. We have to get a of them early and you have to make the fee yeah. uh, worth their while. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's just it. When we started the fall festival, it was pretty exciting. We had a lot of people and then it kind of dwindled down. So the car people, they're like, I don't want to travel with my car just for, you know, like three, 400 people. And there were, there were two or three other car shows on the same day. Yeah. And there's car shows, I think every weekend I live up in Pennsburg and there's always a car show going on up there. Yeah. So what we can do is try. Um, but last year was a success except for the car show. We only had like four cars. <laughs> So it sounds like our schedule is dependent on the time schedule is if there's if or there aren't fireworks, correct? Yeah, and that's that's what I'm what I'm kind of getting at until we like I think there's room for us to advertise it and advertise certain specific like it's gonna be that day. Right. And it's gonna be here. So if there aren't fireworks, what do we think we want? The same as last year? I, 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 or extend it, or because I know you guys were talking about time came up so quick that it was like we're over. We were talking about extending at least an hour because it was fast. I think we started at ten to two. I, I was ten to two. I would do ten to three or something. Um, if we are going to extend it, that's the end. I'd extend it on not. Yeah, forever. We yeah. start at eight in the morning and go till two and. Yeah. I found those morning hours to be brutal. brutal. <laughs> yeah, I, like because we'd be out there in pitch black dark trying to have vendors set up at 5 30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing we need to do of importance is uh the food. We had talked about that. I know Dale said he was gonna look at some food trucks, but um we need to see what 
we want to do food trucks or yeah if they come they pay you so you're already making money on them well they they pay us for what we think the revenue is and it's it's usually 10 percent, and you don't know what well my dad was in charge of it for uh saint maria garetti or whatever church he's involved with and it was you know a, a set fee no matter what it was just like uh, whatever and they okay they had dozens and dozens of them like they had to pick and choose which ones they wanted because there were so many lined up so it all depends on how do we get in that front door i can ask my dad i mean yeah I can just, yeah awesome yeah you got a list together of all of them and i have a list that you can reach out to also um if there's some in the area too. Because that might be something that attracts more people than yeah, so trucks. Yeah. Yeah. And some yeah. more guy cooking. I mean, what do you mean, Marco? And easier to set up already. Right? Right? Easier to set up. Here say they're here for your burger. And I know they probably cook the burgers till they're medium. I did that on purpose. I know you gave me a raw hamburger. I know. It's trying to kill me. No, they had the main lobster, the main lobster truck from oh, in, oh. in front of Rita's. Like at like Friday, like every other Friday. I mean, people were packed mm -hmm. over there by. Re I mean, it was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, cousins made cousins, lobster. Cousins made lobster. There's a lot of stuff in the area. They're all they're once a month up at Bishop Estate Winery. Let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, let's let's get some information on that. Mm -hmm. It's much needed, easier, and you know, and the, and every, not much cleanup either. <laughs> I mean, they do. Yeah. Plus, I think the residents probably would would kind of look at that as a you know. Afternoon in town or something. So, like some of the things I think we need to do ahead of time that we've talked about today. The performance stuff, let's get them lined up with their time so they know. But again, we can't. No. We, we we can't. We need yeah. to know what time we're starting. One, That's critical. That's very before critical. Before we move on to that, one final suggestion. Uh last year we lacked trash receptacles. We need to get those disposable waste management or whatever they are because trash cans were overflowing and I had to go find someone to get it done and they had to go get the gator and they had to come back and yeah that was the uh and there really aren't we need more trash cans if we're going to have an event like this I think that's doable I think yeah. so too yeah we can do that um but we got to pin down 300 committee and uh, our next board meeting next Monday. And I guess we should run that. We should have a good fireworks. Coming Monday, 27th. That's right. Because it's. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, fireworks needs to be on the agenda. Are you guys all presidents there? Of course. Everyone but me. I was going to say, you're not. Um, <laughs> What are you doing? I am here so that we can do some of the redesign stuff without disrupting staff. So some of the electrical work will require shutting off breakers and things like that. So um, I took my holiday after the Super Bowl and I will be here so that those things can be done to provide as little disruption to services we provide. Right, good. Good meeting. Good meeting. So, uh, we don't have any more questions on bingo or the fall festival. And um, I think everybody, we, except for you, Angela, but you seem like you fit right in. So um, we know what we need to do. Yeah, I think as we get clarity with time, some of these things will be, we can get some stuff lined up. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Because I mean, I I know I can rent the moon bounce and the obstacle course. Because we get it, we hold it the whole weekend anyway. So yeah, and again, the theme will be fall. You know, this year will be uh, fall set festival celebrating our 300th year. Yeah, or however you guys want to do it, but we have to push that. I think but, that's going to bring right. a lot of people in. To Steve's point, I think we, if we don't do the fireworks, I think we can look at more adding more events and things, activities. I think that's the word I want to add. Did, were, were you telling me about someone who set up a mini golf course? Oh, yeah, it's like... called Anytime Golf, and there's a gentleman that I used for Hatfield uh, that he builds his own, it's like a nine-hole mini course, and he it's mobile, so he moves it around and he comes to these events, and it's pretty cool. Is it? People and love he is, oh, <laughs> he love loves doing these things. He's so proud of his work. 
Uh, he, t he tells you everything he did. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, that'd be, that'd be nice. are, we are we like a hard on this uh, firework thing? <laughs> I feel it's, it, I feel it's, I feel it's probably better to do something like that than it is and do it the way you guys have done it every year rather than just, it seems like the fireworks are going to make it, uh, you know, it's going to make a big confusion. You, you can talk to Dale. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Well, it's just I, I don't want, you know, everybody's enthusiastic about certain things and, and I don't want to, you know, uh, but I we can still have them, perhaps maybe not at this event. Yeah. Um, you know, I think the one thing we will have from the tricentennial is that tent with some of the historical stuff. I think that's that's really the direction they're moving in for that. So I think that's something when we plan, we account for that in our planning. And the encampment, that's... Yeah, that, yeah. That, the tent yeah. and the encampment stuff yeah. that they're yeah. talking about. Yeah. I, I mean, like I said, you guys let us know at your next meeting and uh, uh, whatever approach you guys take, we'll support. You know, and we'll, I'll keep everybody apprised as we, once we get those plans for the fireworks, we'll have to wait and see um, what they come back with. Because I think that's the first key in presenting a, something to the board to do it, showing that plan where there's, there's safe distances and things like that. Going back to bingo, what do we usually sell the tickets for? Because I have some people that are already interested and I can't remember what they were. Is it 25 before, 30 at the door, 30 I, before, I 35 at the, the door? I think the first one was right, 25 okay. before, 30 at the door. I, yeah. And then you guys... Are we redoing our, I guess we have to redo our directional signage, not our directional sign bar, our, our signs, signs to advertise. Make the them a little <clears throat> larger so people can see. You don't like my M16 with the military boots? And it doesn't really give the idea of fun family events. <laughs> I understand it's good for veterans, but it's not really, it doesn't give off that vibe of fun family event, kind of like. Yeah. And, so and that's what this event has kind of evolved into. Well, it's for it's to raise money for the Veterans Park. It's not a veterans memorial service or anything like yeah. that. So well, we accomplished that. So we can we can mix it all up. They're too little. This might have to be bigger. bigger. Well, there's no uh township ordinance 18 by 24. <clears throat> yeah. And yeah. we don't want fire marshal to be on us. <laughs> No, um, I'll, I'll get me done. Um, of course, you're going to want to put 300 on it. I, I mean, I just, you can make I'll them a little Ryan bigger. Can, we will. I don't think they can put anything over them, right, Marco? Like if you're going to. No, it'll, you call, it'll cost more to put something over them to get All right, that's, I just want to make sure because I'm going to uh, tell Ryan he can free up room in his shop then. Um, I'll if get you some. You don't want anything back from that. Just I, I think I can talk to the zoning people and maybe have them and the thing is, overlook is you, that you gotta be careful too i mean they with the wind and all that they're they're the bigger they are the harder they fall you know hmm. but uh, um i have a lot I'll, of experience sticking political signs into the ground most of them most of them do not move without other human intervention we're, we're gonna rent the billboard for a month or <laughs> let you drive around town and behind your truck there you the advertisement. They could do that. We could stick them on Brian Fitzpatrick's that are still standing up in the no. intersections. And no, no, I. There's him and that's down. Is, true. Isn't it? is there still true. one up? Yeah. Where? One fifty two and two hundred two. One fifty. Yeah, he put he puts right. up with but like two by sixes. It's gigantic. One fifty two and two hundred two. All right, I oh, will. Mary Beth's going over. She's not going to run. Right by my house. Oh, wow. I had come, right I had state. come, I guess I went over to Montgomeryville and I came back. This was like two weeks after the election. And the old Wawa there, mm -hmm. yeah. there were like 14 million signs. They were all still there. It was all weedy. It looked like I was going through some unpleasant neighborhood. I'm like, so I called somebody who had some, and I said, could you please call Doylestown and tell them to get over there and take, it looks like crap. Back in the day, I guess they used to get fined if they didn't have the. You can. You get. I'm not. I'm not after I'm that. Not. I just <laughs> wanted. I couldn't imagine there because we do that election night and the next day yeah. it's like. But they had those huge. Yeah. All right. So I will tell. Uh, 
is it on our side of the uh, or is it on Warrington? I technically think that's Warrington. Okay. Yeah, because I'm on Upper State, and I think across the street from me is Warrington. So, yeah. Right. Um, well, I'll just alert someone who has some sway um, over on Doyle's town. I I can't. I don't know why they didn't come take them down. They usually do this it's year. Just, it's just people forget. Like there's a, there's a big one with what what was her name? Stoll. Stoll. S T O S T O H L. I don't even know who that is, but Stoll. It was a big one. It, it, it's, it on the um, when you. What is it Peace Valley Road and 152 when you come from the lake? You know that goofy yeah. intersection? Yeah, it's just it's right in front, right, right in front. Yeah. You're talking about um uh I know you're talking about it's uh they just forgot about it. Yeah. They just forgot about it. That's all. I don't think it was done. Stoltz. Who? Oh, I think it's Stoltz or something like Stoll. Really? It's a blue and white sign. But that's gone now. But I'm just saying oh, okay. it was there for the longest time. I think they just forgot to take it down. That's all. That's a that's a private landowner there, and I think he put those up. So, um, yeah. but but uh, anyway, um, so we'll get the, we can't we can't put 300 year anniversary on because next year we can't reuse them. Okay. Um, because we changed the riders, it's cheaper to send change the riders than it is and maybe we just buy an additional rider that says if we have to you know if we want to advertise yeah every other one we could put 300 years yeah anniversary township 300 year anniversary yeah you go that's you know, good like yeah. if we have to buy riders this year that are specific for that and then we just get new ones next year right you know i'm just saying that i don't think that needs to be an option do you guys have some sort of um um like a, an emblem, like a, a motif or anything that we can follow? Um, the signs? Yeah. So, well, I, I, I think we'll leave that up to our event coordinator. I'm sure she can find something <clears throat> online that uh, says so we kind Fall of Festival. The, the, well, are you talking about the 300th of the Fall Festival? For the well, Fall Festival, we can, we can. We can make our own. We can make our own sign. Out. I'll get them ordered through. There's this I company in Minnesota. I've just been using what the our newsletter uses. Like that's kind of the motif I saw on the website. And 300th anniversary. The way they design that. I've been kind of just using that as our little design for the three. I mean, I'll ask you if this place sign could cut us a break. Um, and um, I'll ask Curry. He he gave us the writers for free last time, but I don't think. And, and I want to he be, would, we, I could give him the same thing we've done in the past, where I put him on as a premium sponsor. And yeah, just get something that's a little. It could be a little bigger. No one's going to be measuring the signs, colorful, so it catches the eyes. Because as I said, I went past those signs dozens of times. I always thought it was some roofing contractors, you know, nonsense sign or something. And it wasn't until I stopped at the light I could actually. Oh, that's I a fall festival a, sign. I okay, got, got a good uh, optometrist if you want. I see my eye doctor and retinal specialist on a regular basis, unfortunately, but it, it needs to catch the eye. They need to be a little bigger. No one's going to be measuring the signs. Wink, wink. What? You, again, that's you guys' decision. Just let me know what size you want them. We'll order them. And um, anything else? No. All right. Uh, general comments. Um, Buddy Myers. Um, correct. So I think after talking with you, because if you weren't going to make this February meeting, I was going to talk to Matt in my meetings with him leading up to it to try and do it with the second meeting in March. So that it's not because the first meeting in March is a daytime meeting. Are we doing this as supervisors meeting or the veterans committee meeting? I assumed that we do it as supervisors. supervisors and then invite the park and rec like the people that were on those committees to be here that night i think we can do that at the beginning of the so we're shooting for what date because i got contact I think it's like march 20th march 20th that's a monday i was on a holiday that day no unfortunately they've yet to make saint patrick's day a federal holiday so. no march 20th yeah, March twentieth is a Monday. That would be the date. Okay. For that meeting. Um, so you said you had the shadow box, and we're gonna get the little black maid, right? 
Uh, yeah, that's, I gotta make a note to that. duplicate the the board in front. And then what I'll do is I'll get um I'll get his friends, I'll get his family, members of Parks and Rec, um, to come and we can present at the beginning of the meeting so we don't. Yeah, the, yeah, it would be force under, people to sit through a board of supervisors meeting. No, that would be, be just it'll it'll be under chair comments. So that, that's where we've typically done right. any recognitions or stuff like that. Who's um who's chair? Bill. Bill. I'll let him decide who he wants to um, present it. Because I'm gonna invite person that I'm gonna invite reads it and... Jim, Jim Scanzillo and Bob Benner. They're a really good friends since since um since kindergarten. So but we can decide that as we get a bit closer. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I uh, you know when we meet in March, you know, fine tune the final details of that. All right. That, that we'll know when it's going to be for sure and make sure that's all that everything's buttoned up by then all right just give me an official yes on the date and time and um i'll reach out to everybody yeah. and of course you guys are welcome to come too i, don't know if that even... I usually yeah. show up for them for some reason i don't know why no i was talking about <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah absolutely um all right motion all right. to adjourn it's a motion second Second. All in favor? All right. All right. Meeting adjourned. Thanks a lot, guys. Good meeting. Thank you again. You want to um